Let me tell you what I've learned about human sexuality from my experience here on Earth. The human race has it all messed up. Nobody is straight, and nobody is gay. Gay sex and straight sex are two different things. Yes, absolutely. And you can have preference what gender you enjoy having sex with more. But, anyone who told you just because you have sex with the same sex, or have a dream that you have sex with the same sex, doesn't mean that's all you're capable of sexually enjoying. And that definitely doesn't mean that's what you sexually prefer. Society wants us to think because you're gay, you don't want to have sex with a separate gender and have children. They do this to control the population. It's been used since the oldest times, and is a more popular mechanism now than ever as the world population skyrockets. They also celebrate gay people in the media heavily, and they push it out to the public. Why do you think they do this? They are pressuring you into this gay lifestyle, making you think being gay is some sort of irreversible choice. Being gay is not a lifestyle, nor a personality trait, nor is it a sexuality. Animals, for instance, do not have sexual preference. In the animal kingdom, there is plenty examples of all sexual activity. Do you think if an animal, like a dog, has a dream about having sex with the same sex, they're going to wake up and say to themselves, I finally discovered my true colors. I was born this way. And now that I know I'm a gay dog, I am free to love and only love the same sex. No. He wakes up and he goes back to sniffing all dogs' genders' asses. Every human being, yes, even you, potentially, under the right circumstances, can have a sexual experience with the same or opposite sex. And every human being can have a good or bad sexual experience with the same or separate gender. But the outcome of how much you enjoy that same sex intercourse or opposite sex intercourse experience doesn't determine whether you are attracted to that one gender. You are capable of all kinds of love, if you allow yourself to. This is my message to you, and if you do not understand, listen to this again, until you get an understanding of what I've just told you. I feel like I'm the only one in this world that feels this way. I see so many examples of people who think they are only straight or only gay. I think it was someone's plan to control the human population by making us think because someone is gay, that they only are capable of feelings for the same sex and are not capable of having sex with the same sex and having children in the same life. All of that is possible. What is stuck in our heads is old rubbish that has been passed down to us from our ancestors. No one is gay. No one is straight. We are all just living, breathing human beings. Again, we are capable of all kinds of love if we allow ourselves to and your sexual preference will most likely change every day based on your experiences. Now please, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not hating on anyone, I want us all to be our true selves. Please take this video as an attempt of true wisdom from a human being who grew up in the same world you have. We need to show this world the people alive today love while we still have this life. If you are offended by this, I would like you to ask yourself this one question. How do you know you only enjoy having sex with one gender? I'd love to hear your response to as to why you only choose to make love with one gender. I really don't see how you can respond without sounding sexist, misogynistic, or misandrist. If all genders are capable of love, then all genders equally deserve love. I'm not saying if you don't want to fuck someone that makes you sexist. But to say you wouldn't ever have sex with a certain gender or be attracted to a certain gender, is sexist and a lie to yourself because you are a human being and anyone is biologically capable of being turned on by or having sex with any gender. You cannot defeat your biology. You can only defend that you think that your brain is wired a certain way. And if you are incapable of changing the way your brain is wired to be attracted to one gender, how did you come to this conclusion of why you don't find a certain gender sexually attractive? Researchers at Cornell University asked volunteers to watch several adult films to see what types of porn turned them on. The volunteers were both male and female, and as they watched each film, their pupils were measured. Dilation of the pupils is a sign of arousal, less invasive than 
Measuring dilation of the pupils is not something you can control. The results were women were turned on by watching both men and women, even if they identified as heterosexual. And this isn't something that's exclusive to women. The men studied also looked at porn films featuring only other men, and their pupils also dilated. The difference is men have a harder time admitting that they could have other sexual preferences and are less inclined to say it because of societal pressures. Well, that makes sense. Go ahead, say it. I don't find this gender sexually attractive because what your experiences you've had so far in life with certain people do not determine what your sexual preference is, nor does your background or your gender. If you can admit to yourself that you're sexually attracted to all genders, but you prefer to only have sex with one gender, that is called preference, not sexuality. Again, no one is gay. No one is straight. You just have preference. We are all victims to this body. You cannot control what you think or feel for another person. So it's preference, not sexuality. What does that change? It changes everyone's understanding of what sexuality really is. What is it really? Human sexuality is the ability to have feelings for another human. The gender of the human should not determine your sexual feelings. Even the definition of sexuality says it's the capacity for sexual feelings. Because as humans, we are all capable of sexual feelings. Gender is not going to stop those feelings from happening. If you believe you're just gay or straight, that means you just prefer having sex with that gender. Not that you don't want to have sex with or aren't attracted to other genders. And not that your sexual preference is unchangeable. No one should have to come out as gay. No one should have to defend the fact that they're straight. No one should feel that they're sexually confused. You are not confused. You already figured it out. You know what you find attractive. These are old ways of thinking. We now know our sexual preference is inconsistent with our choice, but consistent with our experiences. Meaning and in short, you don't have a choice who turns you on. You only have a choice who you have sex with. I'd love to hear an educated response to this. Has anyone ever thought of this before? I really want my comic section to be an open place of discussion on this topic. I know this video might seem uh, weird for me to make, but this is a part of my life as much as it is yours. I spend a lot of time alone. I, I haven't had sex in five years. I am too just trying to fully find myself. And I'm not going to be afraid to make more videos like this in the future. I love you all. And until the next time. Peace out.